In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. So a lot of people like to recite this prayer, and I'm sure there's nothing wrong with that. But really, he said in this manner. In other words, it was a, a guide for us on how to pray, what to focus on. So we'll go back up a couple of verses and lead into this when Jesus says, when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Our prayers don't have to be long and poetic. We're talking to our Heavenly Father, who, uh, as it says here, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. So he already knows what we need. He knows what we need more than we know. And so... Therefore, in this manner, in this way, how we approach God when we pray, we first recognize that he deserves to be hallowed, which means to give him all reverence for who he is, to respect him and to understand who really, who it is we're talking to, is to have that honor and respect and reverence for him when we come to him. He is not our buddy with a bobble head and a thumbs up he is he's truly worthy to be honored and praised if we ever came before him and saw him there's no way we would be treat him that way uh, we would definitely be be in awe of his presence and so we can re remember that but notice the first and most important part of this prayer is right here your kingdom come because that's what we all want but it is your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. If we pray for God's will, our lives will be blessed beyond measure. If we come to him with what we think we need, we're just, um, we're, it's a hit or miss situation. But when we want God's will, his will is perfect. He knows exactly what is best for each and every one of us. He would never steer us wrong. He would never give us anything that would draw us away from himself. And so if there's anything, if you have nothing else to pray, if, no matter what, your will be done is the answer to all of our prayers. He loves us. He wants to bless us. He wants everything to be good for us. And we want his will. That's what Jesus said. I come to do my father's will and we're to follow him and do the same. Give us this day. Our daily bread is not just about, even though it is about provision physically, but it's also to feed us spiritually so that we continue to grow and walk with him. Forgive us our debts. The, the, our debts are our sins and everything else. And help us forgive the people who uh, owe us because they've hurt us or they said something or they've done something. And we need to forgive just like we want him to forgive us. And obviously he doesn't lead us into temptation, but he delivers us from the evil one. He's the answer when we go through warfare because his is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for just reminding us that the, you know what's best for all of us. Help us come to you when we pray, seeking your will above our own, above everything else. Our ego, our pride thinks we know what's best for us. Help us be low and just seek your will and know that you who created us want to bless us and you have our best interest in mind. Help us forsake what we think and just seek you and follow you and walk with you. We thank you for this reminder today. We give you all glory and honor and praises in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.